Today, I'm going to show you some of the basic sculpture tools that we use when carving stone. But first, I want to show you these. These are vibration dampening gloves. Um, they're used, they're filled with silicone pockets that absorb the heavy vibrations that you get when using an air hammer. Um, there is a definite problem you can develop if you use air tools without these gloves um, called white fingertips. Um, and it's irreversible. So it's a good idea to invest in a set of vibration dampening gloves. And of course, safety glasses. This is an air hammer. This particular one is three quarters of an inch, which is the diameter of the piston. And it's made by Cotari in Italy. Um, this three quarter inch is my heavy duty go-to hammer. Um, it, it excels at moving, removing large amounts of stone, um, but not so much for detail work. This is a half inch hammer made by Trow and Holden in Barry, Vermont. This is a short throw hammer, whereas the Qatari was a medium throw hammer. Short throw means it pounds the chisel a lot more times from a lot less distance out. So if you imagine tapping at something as opposed to swinging a hammer hard at something, that's the difference between a short throw and a medium throw. Um, I use this with a flat chisel because the short throw and the additional um, blows per minute um, make for a lot smoother surface when using a flat chisel. This is a 5 16 Trow and Holden hammer. It's a detail hammer. Use this um, to get fine detail before you start using uh, Dremel tools and grinders and things like that. Um, this is a lot gentler on the stone. Uh, stone actually bruises. The, um, the marble develops um, bruises, which are sort of color, darker colored spots on the surface. It, it's, um, when you finish marble, it should be pure white and smooth. But if it's bruised, it'll look speckled um, and not at all attractive. So when we're getting close to the finished shape, I would use this so as not to bruise the marble so much. These are the chisels. This is a three tooth pointed chisel. Um, this is also by Trow and Holden in Barry, Vermont. It's got a carbide tip. The three points are carbide. Um, and I use this for sort of fast removal of stone with a three quarter inch hammer. There's this, which is a one inch three tooth chisel, which also I would use with the three quarter inch hammer to remove a lot of stone. This is a flat chisel. I use this with the one, with the half inch short throw to get a nice smooth surface when I scrape it with the flat chisel. And this goes with the 5 16 short throw hammer. It's a much more detailed. This is also three tooth, but it will not remove nearly as much material um, as the, the half inch um, chisels. So that's basically it um, for today. Remember, vibration gloves and safety glasses, and away you go.